What is going on my super sandwiches? There's nothing over there. Let me just turn back around, but that was a badass intro, so we have to do it like that. <laughs> Ryan Stone and Kira back here, episode 82 of Dragon Ball Super just aired, finished airing, watched it on Crunchyroll, yada yada yada, and it's kind of a lot to talk about. So, uh, the fight, let's just, let me just say this. Can we just talk about who drew Beerus that entire episode? He looked like a bear. He looked like a bear. <laughs> he looked like Scooby-Doo. He looked oh like everybody gosh. but Beerus. I had yeah. to like make fun of you know the artist there for a second. Like the animation was really really nice when we had Topo and Goku fighting. But towards the end there, the drawing was kind of like. Wonky. I feel like actually throughout the whole episode, every time they showed Beerus, he said something about yeah. his appearance. This is weird. There, there was there was always a little bit of wonkiness. Now yeah. jokes aside. <laughs> The actual animation, which remember that is art style and his animation. Animation was really, really nice. It was very fluid. I'm pretty sure Ta Tate did it. Naoki Tate, I think. I might be wrong because he has like that really fluid, like wobbly style. And that was really, really fluid, especially towards the second half when Topo and Goku were fighting. So, uh, Back to the beginning of the episode. So Topo wants to challenge Goku because he thinks he's evil, which we know he's not. And this is basically just ironic. Like, that Topo. depends on your definition of evil. I mean, technically he's right because because of Goku's this stupid decision, all the universes are at risk, and Goku can potentially cost trillions of quadrillions of Gugillions lives. I don't know what the giant number for that is. Gugillions. Lots of people <laughs> might die because of Goku's selfish decision decision to do this tournament. Uh, but, I mean, this is Goku, it's just who he is. Now, if Topo was an actual person of justice, as he says he is, which, by the way, he dabbed a couple times, he does all these stupid poses. What is it with heroes of pose? Now, I wanna ask you guys, uh, Topo's design, I'm not a big fan of it. He looks like a giant walrus. He looks like a walrus. Like Eggman. Yeah, Eggman and walrus fusing together, and it's, I don't like the design. I like Jiren better, who is obviously his friend, the alien that we see Goku fight. I have not seen that. Jiren, no, it's in the, it's an in intro, like the big guy alien dude is fighting Goku big in the intro, that guy. He's his friend, oh, apparently, <laughs> apparently according to the reveal, Jiren is stronger than Goku, which is probably why Goku was fighting him in the intro, and from how Dragon Ball usually foreshadows stuff, I'm pretty sure the final fight will come down to Jiren and Goku. I thought it was going to be Topo, and we know Topo is so powerful, which we saw in the episode, he's so powerful, he's a candidate to be the next god of destruction of Universe 11. Whenever, wow. wh yeah, whenever Belmaud, whatever his name is, the clown guy, uh, yeah. Kicks the bucket. I don't know how this process works, but mm -hmm. apparently, you know, he's a scout for the next god of destruction. And Topo apparently is, is a badass. I mean, he actually took down Goku like he was nothing until he went into his blue form. Now, again, this is Goku being an idiot. He could have done that from the start. He just likes to, like, every fight ever, he likes to kind of start slow and then go all out because that's just his mentality. And had he just yeah. gone all out from the start, he probably would have taken out Topo and then it would have been GG. But Goku being that's, Goku. That's Goku for ya. He just wants to kind of test out his abilities and test out his opponents to play with it and kind of enjoy the fight, which is fine. It's understandable. He's but, always been allowing of anything in the beginning. It's right. like, show me what you can do. Now, even if I'm on the brink of death. Yeah, but according to the fight with Topo, Goku and Topo are an equal playing field, which I don't agree with. I'm pretty sure when it comes down to it, Topo is going to be below Goku, but the problem is going to be Jiren. If Jiren is that much stronger than Topo, when it comes down to the match them up, if he fights anywhere as amazing as Topo did, that last round between these guys is going to be amazing. Yeah. Now, that's if Goku makes it that far. Because Now, the problem with the, the whole tournament happening is we just saw Goku fight several times. We saw him fight against Bergamo, and now we saw him fight against Topo, and everybody knows Goku's the bad guy. As we said, Goku is going to be the target in the tournament. It's a free-for-all. It's a battle royale. What are you going to do first? I, uh, I'm the god of destruction of this universe. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna, it's like pass the ball to Tucker and hey Arnold. Yeah. Pass the hands to Goku. Take him out first and then work on everybody else. Because obviously. Because he's, he's perceived as a bad guy. He's perceived as a bad guy, number one. He's very, very powerful. If everybody gangs up on him, then everybody can kind of take their time and take it out each universe is, you know, over time. This is going to be basically like the Hunger Games version. Of, of anime, basically. <laughs> Seriously. It's exactly what it is. Take out the troublemaker. Now, the first out of fight, I didn't really like. I thought it was kind of like, uh, the choreography was all over the place as far as how they actually did it. And I don't like the fact that Topo, who's this like really big bulky dude, is able to move that freely. But again, you gotta be powerful. You can't just like look at the character and think, mm -hmm. oh, they're goofy. And then they end up being powerful. Like, it's kind of like, don't judge a book by its cover. And I, de I definitely did. I knew Topo was powerful, but I didn't know that his fight style was going to be similar to Great Sam meets Ginyu meets a god <laughs> right. of destruction. It, even freaking Gohan was like, oh, yeah, I think he's, he's like, cool. I think he's cool, yeah. And it's like, okay, you would because Great Sam Man. Oh, come on, Gohan, stop doing this. Cool thing is, is Gohan said this is getting his, uh, his Sam blood pumped. He was getting he's excited. excited. And hopefully, this is going to be another trigger that's going to make this man go uh, further into a beast when this tournament actually starts. But. 
The fight ends because the Grand Priest doesn't want either contestant to kill each other. They want to save it for the final round. The tournament, as I said in the previous video, is going to be starting in 40 hours from now. He's going to build a stage so everybody has 40 hours to build a team. Now, you said, why are all the strongest fighters on Earth? They're not. And again, this is to kind of uh, point out, 40 hours is not enough time to do anything. I believe it took about what, five days for Universe 6 to have their teams formed. Uh, and it's both for Universe 6 and for Universe 7. And that was five days, and that's what, what they came up with. But <laughs> 40, <laughs> yeah, but 40 hours is like, ah, what do I do? <laughs> yeah. Even Shapo was like, you don't think that, you know, Hit has a couple brothers? Which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, uh, so with 40 hours remaining, it, it only makes sense they're gonna go to Earth and grab the fighters that we already know are going to be Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Boo, Tien Shinhan, Master Roshi, 17, 18, Krillin, and Majin Buu. That's the 10 fighters, that's everybody, right? That's the 10 fighters entering this tournament, and that's, they're being picked for that exact reason. And obviously, if they had a week, even, you know, a month, they could probably find the most craziest fighters across the universe, even probably potentially dead people, because this is kind of a big deal. I'm sure they can allow dead people to come back for a day just for this tournament. But they got the Dragon Balls? They, they can get the Dragon Balls, too. There's so much to do, but like 40 hours, it's like, <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> With that said, this is going to be very interesting when the tournament actually starts, because like I said, it's a Battle Royale, Universe 7, they're the bad guys. You got uh, Goku is gonna be the main target, and everybody kind of like associated with him. It's like let's let's take get rid of these guys first. So I feel bad for Master That's Roshi. So sad. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for Master Roshi. I feel bad for Tien. I feel bad for like everybody involved. I'm so upset that Goten and Trunks, aka Gotenks, aren't in it. But uh, I guess this is kind of dangerous, so there's a reason for it. Okay, uh, but still, they're like so strong. Yeah, they should have fought. I mean, I would not. Like Master Roshi, I, if Master Roshi's all like, well, you know, I'm old, if I die, it's whatever, but the kids have a long life, there won't be a long life if I get to yeah, lose. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, like everyone's gonna die. Hello? Yeah, now, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I don't want to be too judgmental, because when Master Roshi stepped out in the Resurrection F movie, it was incredible. It Buffed was. Up, you know, busted out his little staff, was firing Kamehameha, like that was amazing. So if he gets stuff like that, cool. But the real question is, is uh, what was the purpose of this fight? Cause like, if like I, I this entire time I saw Topo was gonna be the main guy. Cause like when Hit showed up, you knew Hit was gonna be the main guy in the Universe Six tournament. Mm -hmm. You see Topo, you know Topo is gonna be the main guy until this fight happens. It's like oh Jiren strong. It's like oh well, we know Goku can beat uh, Topo, but like what if Topo and Jiren team up against Goku? So like he honestly needs to get stronger. Goku yeah. needs to get stronger. I mean I know he has forty hours and he could spend maybe like you know twenty hours in the time chamber maybe. But even then, it's like, what can you accomplish in that little amount of time to get, you know, more powerful than you already are? Because he went all out, and it wasn't enough. Like, yeah. they even all thought that he killed him with the Kamehameha at the end there, but he didn't. That's interesting. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know. Let me know your best speculations and theories you have down below. Uh, I feel like maybe, I don't know. It's just gonna be interesting, that's all I'm gonna say. I have a question. What's the question? I got an answer. So, if they, like, when all these universes got together for this particular tournament, right. they didn't know that this wasn't the actual tournament, right? Well, correct, it was just a, like a free-for-all. Right, so I'm wondering, like, why did they choose Topo if he's well, not the strongest? Well, the reason why Topo was chosen is because Topo is supposed to be the next God of Destruction. So basically what happens is Kai, which is his name, Kai, uh, the universe 11 Kai is training, I guess, Topo to be the next guy. You don't have to be necessarily the strongest god of destruction to be a god of destruction. You just have to be powerful. I mean, yeah. basically, technically, theoretically, anybody from Earth can be a god of destruction. Because what you gotta do, you gotta destroy. We saw Piccolo destroy the moon in Dragon Ball, or in Dragon Ball Z. We saw Master Roshi destroy the moon in Dragon Ball. Technically, he's powerful to be a god of destruction. He's just probably not powerful enough to defend against, you know, XYZ. Yeah. But it is, uh, we can probably confirm and admit that uh, even though Topo is not necessarily the strongest in Universe 11, he is amongst the strongest and strongest to be a Universe 6 or Universe 11 God of Destruction. Mm -hmm. With that said, uh, that kind of gives us a power scale or understanding of how powerful Universe 11 actually is. And if if Goku can get rid of Jiren and Topo, then he has no problem. Universe 7 has no problem winning this tournament. Because I mean, we don't know how strong everybody else is, but I feel like Topo is amongst the top tier and mm -hmm. knowing how they hint at the series seeing Goku fight Jiren in the intro obviously is a foreshadow of what's to come. One last thing since you brought this up, okay. I do want to point out one more evidence that was thrown out that once again the universe scale is not power based. Freaking yeah. at well, the yeah. end Beerus says uh, you're the reason Goku that our universe is so low implying that his low intelligence and low quality of life is the reason that got him in trouble to which uh, Goku responds well it's fine but 
I may be low, but Gohan's above me, basically saying. Oh, Gohan well, is raising it. He, he, he makes it up for it, which yeah. again, Gohan's not the strongest at all. No. <laughs> Definitely not Universe 11. He is a, a better human mortal. Yeah. By far, he's great. He's a you know awesome warrior. He's a very smart. He's intelligent. Qua he also, is, like the you're just your state of being. Yeah, like, state are you of a being. peaceful yeah. being? Go on is like yeah. the quality mortal that you want living yeah. in the universes. And again, once again, confirms like this is this is what the scale actually is. So yeah. Uh, next week we got the birth of Bra, uh, and uh, which is exciting because we've been asking where the hell she is for the last couple months now. So it's cool she's being born. Uh, but overall, though, I feel like until the tournament actually starts and we go into the whole find the warriors phase, which we are right now in the arc, it's not going to be as exciting. I mean, it'll be it'll be fun to watch. It it'll probably only last one episode though. No, right? there's, there's, there's a handful. Really? <laughs> there's a handful, unfortunately. No. I, I don't think. Uh, realistic speaking, we're probably not going to start the tournament for at least two months because uh, what? we got next week. They're going to recruit Krillin and 18, I believe. Week after oh. that, they're going to look for 17, and a week after that, probably something else. We're probably getting a good. I want to say three to four episodes where uh, it's all about recruiting and then the actual tournament okay. will start. Well, that sounds like classic Dragon Ball because, yeah. you know, many episodes which are only like actually a very small amount of time within that world. Yeah, and like, I like to compare this to when like, like the beginning of the Trunks arc was exciting, it was dark, it was intense, you were like questioning what's going to happen next, and then the second Trunks went back into the, into the past and just, it was like a time of peace and it took like, what? Four weeks before they went back into the future to fight yeah. Black and Zamasu, and like that in between period was so painful for me as a Dragon Ball fan because it's like it's not that I didn't like it, I just wanted the action, and I, I'm gonna enjoy it. Like I love the lighthearted stuff of Dragon Ball, but like when it comes down to it, after seeing this little teaser, I want to see the fight. Me too. I want to see what me happens, <laughs> and I also want to see if that red form thing that we see in the intro is like an implying or power of, of Goku's next step. Is he gonna have a better mastery of Kao Ken? Like what is he going to do? To make sure Universe 7 doesn't get destroyed. Because, spoiler alert, Universe 7 survives. How do I know? Because Z takes place after Dragon Ball Super. Remember, Dragon Ball Super, here is uh, the Kibu fight right here. Right here, this is the Kibu fight. This is the last episode where the tournament takes place, uh, where they have like Ubin stuff. Dragon Ball Super is in between right here. Mm -hmm. So, if they're there at the end, spoiler alert, not really a spoiler, we know that obviously 7 wins somehow, somehow or survives. And again, my theory is, is that, that Zen probably, Zen Shine is going to probably be like, you know what, let's not destroy universes. Instead, let's do these weekly, or not weekly, but monthly, or annual, annual, annual tournaments because they're exciting. Probably they're fun. Saying. Yeah. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, in the comment section below, I guess, let us know your thoughts on episode 8 of Dragon Ball Super. Any predictions that you might have in regards to the future and just anything that you think the other universes are going to do. Comment down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed today's episode. Like I said, it was a lot of fun. First half was a bit sloppy, second half was a lot more exciting, and then we had, you know, Scooby-Doo beers for... <laughs> I, I still don't understand why. Like, uh, like I don't even want to look at the pictures. I'm sure my, my timeline is going to be flooded. Anytime there's like a, a screw up with the, with the art, it's all over Twitter, and I'm pretty sure people are having a field day with Scooby-Doo over here. Oh my um, gosh. So favorite character, man. He can't be doing that. <laughs> he went from looking like a rabbit to Bugs Bunny to a bear to Scooby-Doo, and then back to bears all within like 10 frames. It was weird. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just making jokes. I still like this. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, so we hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Kieran Bagan Rhyme Style, let us know your thoughts. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.